How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today I'm going to show you an easier way to seed and roll at the exact same time. And I want to give a shout out to Scott Allen. In one of my previous videos in the comments section, he asked, does anyone know what to use for being able to plant seeds and pull a roller behind the seeder? Scott, I got you, man. I release weekly tips and tricks videos here on the channel. If you want to stay up to date when those new videos are going to be released, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So what we've got here is part of the Seed Hawk Pack, and we have the Mandaco 5 Plex Roller. Now, the reason we only have part of the Seed Hawk Pack is because we are also using the Global Goods Transport Pallet and the Backlifter here. The first mod you're going to need is your front loader, and you're going to go all the way across to the Lizard back lifter. We've been showing this off in a ton of videos, and I want to keep showing this thing off to show everybody how versatile this mod actually is. This is possibly one of the best mods for console players. If you want to play a little cheaty, I think it's right here. There's no customization except color. We're going to go ahead and leave it in red. For the Global Goods Transport Palette, you need to come over here to Objects and then Palettes and go across until you see the Global Goods Transport Palette right here. This one's for solid goods, and you want to make sure your capacity is set to Unreal. That's going to be 200,000 liters. You can leave it on 10,000 liters if you want to, but if you're doing this setup, you might as well go with 200,000. For the third piece of equipment you're going to need for this setup, you're going to go to Tools and then Cedars. Go all the way across until you see your Seed Hawk XL Toolbar 65 foot. This is important because it's 19.8 meters. Now, you're going to get this. You can customize it any way you want to. Any wheel setup, any wheel brand, design, you can select between the Seed Hawk or the Vatterstad. Either one works right here. The important part is going to be the system type, okay? I'm gonna make this toe between. I have not tried it with toe behind, so I'm saying that I confirm this is gonna work with toe between, and that's where your hoses are coming over the front. And the final piece for this setup is gonna be under tools and then rollers. Go across until you find the Mandeco 5 Plex roller. In here, the only thing you can do is change the main color between black and green. We're going to go with green, and this one is important because it's 22.9 meters. Now that we've got all of our pieces, let's go ahead and start putting this combination together. First thing you're going to do is back up to your back lifter right here, and then you're going to go ahead and back up to your global goods transport pallet. Now, you want to make sure that it's on the lengthways here, and then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to pull it up just a little bit, you're going to try and stick it inside that cavity right there of the seed cart. You could also take this, extend it all the way up, and move it completely out of the way. But this way right here is going to allow you to get underneath some bridges and things like that. So then all you have to do is back up to this right there. And then you're going to back up to your roller right there. Perfect. Now, what you need to do is go ahead and start unfolding everything. All right, so we're getting these two things unfolded. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and take the Global Goods Transport Palette, and we are going to bring it up just a little bit out of the way, and that'll be fine right there. That way there's no collisions while we're turning. You're going to need a monster of a tractor to be able to pull this combination around. I'm using the Fent 1050 Vario right now. This is base game, and it's got the BKT tires all the way around, twins all the way around, because that's going to give me the absolute best grip. I'm not really worried about my turning radius here because it's such a big, wide implement and combination that we have here. Now, could you run the other portion of the air cart with this? Absolutely, but this is already big enough. I figure, you know what? Let's use the Global Goods Transport Pallet here because it's going to help us be a little bit more compact, not have to spend as much money because that thing is quite expensive. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and get set on our seater. I'm going to go ahead and lower it down and we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Now I'm on the roller and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and lower it down. Now there's no turning on to this one. Whenever you turn on and off something, it's actually turning off your seater. So now that we've got everything lowered down, I'm just going to go ahead and start pulling forward. I went ahead and jumped out of the tractor here because I want to show you the info down in the bottom right hand corner. As you can see, this field is owned by me. It's fertilized. There's nothing in it right now. 
when I go over here, you're now able to see that my yield bonus is 95% and we are growing canola. When I go back here behind the roller, you can see that I'm now up to 98% and that's because I'm getting a 2.5% more yield for using this roller right here. That's all you're gonna get is 2.5% by doing this, but if you can do it at the same time, I think it's absolutely worth it. And one thing about this combo is the seed cart is a little bit more narrow than your roller here, but the way the combinations like this work is your workers, if you use them, are going to recognize the smallest equipment that you have. So that's gonna be your seed cart here. The next time it comes by, it's gonna be right here in line with this. And this is just gonna be doing a little bit of extra rolling, but you're not putting down any extra seed. It's just a free pass. I mean, this thing is just going along for a ride anyway. So it doesn't matter if it's gonna overlap a little bit more. You're not gonna get additional yield or additional bonus, anything like that. It's just, it, it's you're making sure that you're wide enough here that you're gonna get a full yield bonus on this crop. And speaking of workers, you can see that they don't have any problem at all pulling this combination. I've done this entire field, I tested it. The only thing was down here at the ends, your headland area, um, it was kind of tricky to be able to get all that. So what I would do, run a couple headland passes before or after, and you're gonna be absolutely fine. Just make sure that your global pallet is high enough that it's not gonna have a collision there with your cart. And here's that little bit of overlap I was telling you about. The worker is overlapping the seating operation just a little bit here. And your roller, it's overlapping quite a bit, but since it's going along for a free ride, you're not losing any money by it doing it. Plus, your rocks are being pushed down also, so you're going to save wear and tear on your harvester. Well, everybody, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on all my future tips and tricks videos here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53. Signing off.